Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you how to save the data in an event table. I get a lot of questions about this. It's a pretty simple process, but it can be a little counterintuitive. So to use as an example, I have this simple event table that's storing a sine wave offset by a phase value. And you'll see that if I save a few snapshots and then recall them, that the data in the event table is not being recalled with the snapshots. So this is a problem for using event tables, obviously, because it really hinders what you can do with them. Fortunately, there's a very simple fix. Um, we're going to go into the event table macro that I have here, and it's very bare bones. Um, it's just taking a few inputs and writing them to the um, table and then it has a single input that you can use to read a value out from the table. And in order to save the data we want to use a module from the auxiliary menu called a snap value array. Snap value array wants to have a size that's equal to the table size so we'll set it to 256 in this instance because that's the size of the event table I'm using in this example. And the other thing we have to note is that the index of the snap value array runs from 1 to the size of the um, array, and the table um, runs from 0 to the size minus 1. So we want to take the incoming wx value and add 1 to it in order to store that value in the snap value array. And when the index is coming out of the snap value array, we want to subtract one from it in order to use with the wx input of the event table. This is a kind of confusing setup, and I really wish they had just chosen to go either with zero indexing or with one indexing. But um, the design of Reactor is a little scattered in this regard, so we just have to work around it. In any event, this is how we set up our event table to store data. Should work fine now. And we'll just um, save a few snapshots to make sure. So this gives you a lot of power. It lets you store huge sequences of numbers um, to use as modulation or for other things. Um, and it really just makes the event table a lot more powerful to use. You'll see we can recall our data with our snapshots now.